All right, this is Phoebus Apollo again, and I'm going to continue my look at emulators. And this time I'm looking at a Nintendo Entertainment System emulator. Very classic, ancient console. And uh, it's kind of surprising, actually. I'm starting to get to the age where there are people who haven't played it or weren't around for it. So, um, you know, a good way to get a look at it is via emulation. And uh, there are many... Um, Nintendo emulator, uh, Nintendo emulators out there. Um, FCE Ultra is another mentionable one, and uh, so is uh, Nesticle, but uh, that was based on a pun with testicle, so whatever. Um, what we got here, um, Nestopia gives you a pretty decent array of options. Lets you uh, arrange the screen, and you, you can you can just dynamically resize the windows you please. And of course filters, and having a filter is necessary in my opinion uh, for these kind of games. And uh, you know, because uh, a little anti-aliasing here and there, and redrawing of the graphics, I p I think this makes it look uh, makes these older games look so much better and make them more playable. So, uh, what are we playing today? I uh, don't know. Just gonna play something recent, as you can tell. Or you can't quite see it actually because it's a little bit off the screen. But one of my games was uh, Dragon Warrior 4, and that was sort of, of along the lines of my uh, emulating habits. And uh, I did play through Kokoron after seeing a let's play of it by a guy named DC's Crab who shrieks loudly. Um, that is a good game, a really good game. And uh, but. You know, I figured this one would be, uh, you know, the the one to test it out on and show you. It's Bubble Bobble, the original Bubble Bobble by Tato. And this is a story about two little dragon things, and they adventure through a cave, a mystical cave, full of monsters that are just coincidentally extremely easy to trap in tiny bubbles. So. And the art style of this game is complemented greatly by the filter, high quality filter that I use. And I'm going to pop those sons of bitches, and they're all dead. They're all dead. All the monsters are dead. And can I get that before I go to the next level? Yes. So, very classic game. I uh, can't stress that enough. Oh shit, I just got beat up by that toy monster thing. That's all right. She's bubbles around. If you don't kill the enemies quick enough, they will be liberated from their bubbly prison. Although, considering that a tiny, tiny film of water can easily defeat them, um, you know that's that's not really saying much. Collecting the uh, lettered bubbles will give you power-ups. And once you once you acquire a certain number of them, you can do special things or something. But uh, again, whoop! Got that guy. All right. Only died once so far. That's pretty good. Well, that's actually not pretty good. It'd be better if I didn't die at all. So. And you can. Oops! That was really dumb. You can. Make it a point to go do some special effects. Crap, didn't get all the items. Like this one has a water bubble effect that you can initiate just simply by McDonald's french fries. That was a collectible item in this game. I'm not kidding you. So you collect the bubble, you go all the way down the drain. And, oops, you can also jump off of it just in case. Fuck, didn't get all the items. Doesn't matter. So, very classic game. And, uh, you know, this is like a, a hundred levels or something before something actually happens. But you get fun popping things and collecting items and uh, uh, bubbling enemies. So, alright. And uh, that is my basic look at Nintendo Emulation, which is nearly perfect and... The, the cool thing about Nintendo emulation, because, you know, the Nintendo came out so, so long ago, is that, uh, you know, pretty much every 
everything imaginable from cell phones, you know, iPhones to, you know, to uh, any kind of mobile device at all, or really anything that can be modified to run any homebrew application, will have a Nintendo emulator for it. And this just happens to be my favorite. This happens to be one of my favorite PC ones. Usually with uh, emulators, I toggle between um, uh, a Nintendo emulation. I toggle between uh, FCE Ultra and this. Boop. Got all the items. And, uh, wow, I'm doing pretty good. I'm still alive. and that, that's At least that's the case. So, uh, this is a dumb level. Alright, let's beat this level real quick, and that'll be it. I'm not even going to try to... Oh, shit! Red bastard got me. Communist bastard. Alright. And that is a wrap.